What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies Jesse and Mike. Teeter Dance! Hey, man. I don't know what's going on anymore. Guys, welcome to the discussion for Season 2, Episode 8 of the Into the Badlands, entitled The Sting of the Scorpion's Butt. His, well, his tail, but it's his what? butt still. It's still considered his butt, isn't his it? His butt appendage. Uh, guys, what's up? We're going to talk about it. Um... So, if you checked out our review, this this episode we gave it like a three. It wasn't we, it wasn't great to us. We didn't really we had fun watching it, but yeah, I mean, not a. It's hard to say. See, it's hard to say like a lot happened, but a lot didn't happen. I don't fucking know. Uh, but Mikey, why don't you at least just tell us what they think yes. happened? Well, according to AMC, Sonny plays a dangerous game, causing his allies to question his loyalties. Okay, that that's okay. The widow finds uh, a new weapon as her alliance begins to disintegrate. Huh? What? That doesn't doesn't make sense at that all. That doesn't make much sense. Hey, um, man. Hey, you man. Know, the scorpion's got a tail, man. Uh. <laughs> when on. the scorpion stings, you don't gonna feel it. You know, sun is alive. Look. But- Look, what we got what we got in this episode what? was I I enjoyed the story because it was Sun, like Sunny's alive, man. Sunny's alive. Okay, so everyone knows Sunny's alive now, which is kind of cool. Vale knows that Sunny's alive. Sunny knows that Vale's alive and has a, has a son. He has a son. That's um, the coolest part of the whole episode. That was actually the coolest part. The, so the Sunny Sunny's right? Sunny they get to the Badlands, right? They finally get back to the Badlands but they get captured, of course. Um there's a really shit scene of them getting ambushed on a bus. I was wanting to talk about that. That is a horrible scene. Let's talk about 10, it for a moment. Ten thousand arrows. It's ten. Yeah, that's the name of the of of that's a, that's a good song name. Ten thousand arrows, and not one of them hits the mark, because there is only maybe like ten guys on each side of the bus, twelve guys on each side of the bus, and there's about a hundred and fifty arrows in that bus. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, way more than that. Way more oh, yeah. than that. There's They're probably... penetrating a bus. Now, there are arrowheads that can penetrate through metal. Look, yes. you're shooting crossbows. Most of them actually at, can. At, right. I get it. You're shooting crossbows at point Not blank range. Deep, no. Not even Not... one of them. It would have been probably better if some of them actually penetrated fully through and and they were standing on the opposite side of the arrow and it comes right to you know what i mean like, yeah at least that crazy thing right you know, nope that didn't happen they then just you have, went in enough then you have guys that are like they're shooting at point blank range and the shit's going wide it's in the top of the bus below the bus i mean i guess maybe they're trying to spray to get all over but they weren't even they didn't even like hunker down they were just standing in the middle like uh when is this shit yeah. done I that, w- space, like, that space that space reference you know yeah i said across her nose not ah, up, up it, it. I'm oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> so I don't know, man. Whatever. That was a shit scene. Um, they, were, they were assholes. And then Sonny, yeah. and then Sonny decides he's you know m- one of my favorite lines. I I really enjoyed Sonny in this episode. I'm not gonna lie, I did. I enjoyed Sonny. Yeah. One of my favorite lines is like, "Hey, you Clipper, come here." And the guy gets out. He goes over yeah. to him. Okay. I need to see your Baron now. That was his Jedi mind trick. He was. He's yeah. He was doing his fun. He's like. What? No. And he takes his shirt off and he shows him his nipples. And shows he's like, him his wee weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sonny, is that your uh, wiener there? So, yeah, so Sonny ends up talking to Chow and he just says, I can get you the widow. Uh, what was his ultimatum, though? Get me the widow and I'll what? And what is he? What did he want? His wife no, and no, kid. See, this kid, you're missing right? the, the very first thing he said to her. Do you, do you remember what he said to her? Apparently not. Look at my nipples. Look at oh, them. Oh yeah, that's right. That oh, how could I fucking forget that? How yeah, could you forget that scene? That is bro. true. Um, God, I'm liking this blue background, guys. I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys <laughs> think? We we put some color behind us. Okay. I mean, I look like a floating head the... right now because I'm wearing blue on blue, but <laughs> it's our it's our thing. Anyway, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? It's fucking. Hey. <sighs> I, I mean, like I said in the beginning, my favorite part of this this episode was just the information that was given to the appropriate people. Um, <laughs> you know, the whole Sonny switching sides thing, like you said, was it was just um, Sonny was said that he would um, kill Quinn yeah. and she would allow him to um, 
meet up with the widow and then Sonny would say that he has MK and that that would be the reason why there's a the whole widow yeah could, I mean that's yeah the whole thing they were going to have one of their one of her guys defect and whatever um, exactly and it ends up where Sonny ends up it's about to, you know he's he's gonna take out the widow and the widow's like well I know where your fucking kid is and your lady friend and he's like. Fine. Change sides again. Yeah, yeah, let me just let me just fucking flippity flop again. Uh, so what? Just I mean, kill uh, Jarrett there from Silicon Valley. I know that guy did look like Jarrett from Silicon Valley, only not as funny. Uh, yeah. That guy looks familiar too. I feel like feel like he's he in like Game of Thrones or something. It's probably in Game. Probably. They, they get a lot of people from Game of Thrones, don't they? No, no. We're always no. talking about the Game of Thrones stuff. The um, it was yeah. Iron Fist who had a bunch of people from Game of Thrones. Probably. Iron I Fist had so. like three or four people from Game of Thrones. Whoa! <laughs> train in your living room? <laughs> oh, that's the Thanks. first time I've heard that train in a while. Thanks, Holy son. Holy shit, that's the Polex! Um, the Polar Express in the middle of July. This isn't July. Anyway, um, all right, great. Well, whatever. Sonny, so, Sonny, so they, he knows he's his people. Let's, um, what about, uh, can we do Quinn? Because that was the only or, other thing. I mean, look, look, MK was fucking annoying. Well, no, Vale wasn't doing Quinn. Well, no, that's not that's true. Not I mean, bad. that is true. Uh, but let's talk about MK real quick. How annoying he was. That's it done. He's annoying. He was just—he didn't know. He had no inkling as to what was happening. Just super fucking naive, you know, yeah. that he didn't understand when, you know, after they were captured and and Sonny came to his this uh, big idea to to get out of the the jail or these cells that they were in, um, you know, uh, they were in the back of this fucking jeep. And, and and MK is still like, what are you doing, bro? Like, how can you, how can you go against us and all this hey, kind of stuff? Hey, shut up. Stop. Right? He won't yeah. stop talking. <laughs> and I yelled at him. It's Everybody cool. Right it's cool, Jared. You know? It's cool. Yeah. Fuck, man. So, I mean, it was, you know, like, you know, for the third time saying this, this episode to me was pretty much just the cool information about... Um, where Vale is to Sonny and where Sonny is to Vale. What, what and, if, and of course, Quinn trying to get his groove on and his sister wife we'll is kind of fucking wait, idea and all this kind of bullshit. Before we pop into Quinn, because I know you're dying to fucking talk like him again. Well, hold on. <laughs> hey, man. Baji, okay, this fucking dude, fucking, he's like, man, man, that guy's a dick. Man, I mean, I'm only going to worry about me. And hey, what's this in my pocket? Oh, you beautiful bastard. Yeah. What? What's that? Why don't you come over here and I'll show you? Like, what the fuck? It was a little unbelievable, right? How and they then, just wait. so quickly thought that Sonny would fuck them like that. And then and then, he, and then he gets, he sneaks out, right? And as he's sneaking out, he tells one of the other guys who's like half propped up laying on the ground. <laughs> Shh, and the guy's like, mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I'll then you to get tortured while uh, I let you uh, yeah. sneak out of here. And then the third, and then the third strike in my book, is he sees a motorbike get parked right in front of the door he's standing at. He gets on it and revs it like eight times. Ram, 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 ram. Yeah. And then peels out and then turns a corner and stops and sees the convoy going, which they don't see a headlight in the middle of the fucking dark alley. They just, the guy's just driving. And he sees fucking MK being a little bitch in the back and he's like, he just takes off after him. And then There's wait, no reason, they get they get to the ambush section at the end and he's just watching through the fucking window. That that's it? Which no, doesn't no, come I in like the, the fact that Sonny is telling MK, you know, he's probably I, I gave him way out. He's probably, you know, far away from here, taking care of himself, like He'll be fine, he, like yeah. he knows how. And meanwhile, I say, or he's right he's... behind you. And right as I say he... that, cuts right, right behind him. He's a fucking peeper. Right yes. <laughs> he was like, oh, there's a lot of death happening in there. I guess I'm just going to stay right here and watch. Yeah. Fun, fun yeah. times, guys. It was fun. And the, and, the, and, and the choreography, we mentioned it in the review and stuff, but the choreography was a little fucking butt. It wasn't, it wasn't great. Some of it Certain was... Certain parts of it were. Some of it were cool. Some of it was cool. You know, um, you know, Jesse doesn't believe that Tilda could fight with two, two blades like that against guys with swords. Okay, okay. No, I do believe she can fight with two blades like that, not against two guys who are probably equally skilled as her. No. Well, apparently they weren't evenly skilled. Well, that's the whole point. Yeah, them. I guess. They... <laughs> Those She's sons stronger. They're older. Bitches. They should have more experience than her. Is all I'm saying. She. It was pretty badass. I mean, I mean, come on. When she but jumped yeah, on, yeah. she does a lot of neck jumping. To yeah, because she's little, so she can like bounce up on people. Well, she's like Jared Leto. She's a method actor. That's true. Yeah. Um, MK got pushed around. That was fun. 
I like how you know you know what fast I saved again. You know what I didn't like was the one scene where they had these glass bottles upside down in the background in these little things, and yeah. I was like, that's just so they can. Yep, here goes the sword, and Great it's gonna. Br- I yeah. was like, really? Come on, like you guys, you did they blow all their budget in the first like four or five episodes of this? Probably. Thing? You know what I mean? Anyway, this was whatever. probably the lower I, the, one of the lower you know, visual. And they're saving it up for the something. Finale. Yeah. There's something that took a lot of the budget this episode. Which? The wall. Oh, yeah, that was pretty cool. The two walls. Oh. The small wall right below the big wall. Yeah, that and was it's actually. substantially fucking big. That is. You can imagine yeah, how dude, much that initial that is small wall would be, right? Fucking I, ridiculous. I have to yeah. Titan to, you know, appear that's what I thought. Like, that's what I said, it. man. It's Attack on Titans. Ooh, dude, maybe that's like Titans. bigger than the fucking them. wall in fucking Game of Thrones, dude. Yeah, dude. Or as big, yeah. Because it's a wall it's, set. That's, that's what seven hundred feet tall. The wall. The wall in the in the. Uh... What are they keeping out with that wall? Is what I want to. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's a good point. Why would they make the wall so fucking big? There's no planes anymore. Uh, but we don't know who built it. Obviously, we don't know how old it is. Because obviously, there was two walls there, right? They had the initial wall, which just say for shits and giggles, that wall's twenty feet high. That fucking major wall was like a thousand, a thousand fucking. Times as big. Because, dude, that little right. that little gas station was area huge. was yeah. so little compared to that yeah. fucking wall. Unless they're just completely screwing with the fucking scale, dude. So I mean, I don't think that they meant anything. You know, it's just for for visual yeah. and appeal and things like that it wasn't necessarily for any kind of literal my wall's bigger than yours but something's yeah, gonna right. happen i mean they're I, obviously i think in in season three they're gonna they're gonna i mean look they're they're, they're dribbling out the past to us right what jesse what are you laughing at i just thought of it what if the two sides of the wall is just because one side built the 20 foot wall and then the other side said, <laughs> you know what? My wall is bigger than yeah. yours. And okay, built a bigger wall. And, and made, it, it, made yeah. it 30 times larger. <laughs> you guys are dicks. Okay. <laughs> <It's kind> of... <laughs> Could be. Anyway, let's hey. let's, let's let's go to Quinn uh, because uh, Mike's dying to talk in Quinn's accent. So oh, Quinn's hey. accent <laughs> and his hair change every episode. Yes. Which is oh, he has the worst fucking haircut there could be. It's it's this is the worst yet. But dude, it's because it's growing out. That's why it grows very very fast. Um, dude, okay, so again, he's a he's a gross piece of shit though. He just is a piece of shit. He's a creeper. And he just like he's just maybe because he's dying and he doesn't care anymore. But he's just like, yeah. I can have two wives. He's bold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's bold. We well, he could have, have two wives beforehand, know. so that's what he figures. Yeah, he, yeah. Meanwhile, she's like, "What do you ha- you you're not king of anything? Look, you live in a fucking shit nest. What are you yeah. talking about?" Yeah. This is Lydia saying this, right? And then he just assumes that okay, obviously he's, he's using Henry as a bargaining chip and as leverage mm-hmm. over oh, completely over Vale. And 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 but what's interesting is that Lydia has already been through it. Like Lydia's been through that. Well, I, he's the Baron. I'm the Baroness. I'm gonna reap benefits from this. I, I guess I'll suck his dick. And, you know, fucking mend his clothes and bathe him. You know what I mean? Like, I just assume that's what they do. So it's like, but Vale, like, she doesn't, like, she doesn't have that. She's not, first of all, she made a, she made, she said a good line. Sorry for hitting my mic. She made, she said a good line. She's like, I'm not about to fucking consummate a marriage with the man who killed my parents. Like, that was like. Yeah. That, that was fuck, a really man. good line. No, actually. why? No. She's like, she's like sick to her fucking stomach, man, you know? I don't know, man. Yep. Fucking... Still say she should have killed him, killed Henry, killed herself. Now nah, she would it's never. Rough, I mean, man. she would never it's do that. Obviously, rough, she, yes. would, she has a better chance because even though Quinn is a complete psycho, he he still does love Henry. So you're better off killing yourself, and it's better than than Henry sacrificing himself than you know and, and live you and grow up with Quinn. I mean, Quinn at least won't. Quinn will take care of. Would take care of him. What the kid would turn into is a totally different Piece story. Of shit, right? But, but what 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 Vale doesn't understand? She doesn't understand the Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? She's not playing that Game of Thrones there. She doesn't mm-hmm. understand it. Lydia understands. Um, Jade understands. Like that's the shit they do. But Li- Vale's not in that world. Vale's just like she's she was on the outskirts. She's still on the outskirts. She's like I don't know what the fuck's happening. So. So they get married in this weird, dumb ritual where they have to cut hands and become blood brothers for some reason, right? And then, and and, and man, oh, 
where'd they get these clothes from? Where'd they oh, get these? That. I, I do, that. man. Well, they're down in some kind of sub fucking, maybe a, maybe an old uh, subway I station. I found my maybe chest. There was, uh. Maybe there was, uh, maybe there was like a Michaels down there, you know, and they found all the material they needed. They ransacked the Michaels from hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Jesse right? said, Jesse, what'd you say? You said that they, or some, one of you guys said they got shit from, he got his shit back or something. Oh, I was joking around when I said that. I was uh. saying, I already kidnapped some seamstresses. They, yeah, some of those dudes, they look tough, but man, can they sew. Man, That's can they true. sew. Oh, That's if they true. could sew, then how come that dude couldn't sew his fucking hand back up? Fucking idiot. Do you know that how vet. hard it is to sew your own hand up? Please. Oh, my damn hand. Please. Uh, just get one of those weird hooked fucking um, needles that you can get in there. Anyway, suture kit. Um, so, yeah, so uh, he's a creepy bastard. He tries to He tries to get it on. And he's all like, meh, 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 slobbering all over her, and we're all cringing and stuff, and she's trying to get her fucking... Now, she doesn't get a blade, per se. She gets a fucking... Um, straight razor. A straight, straight razor. Yeah. That's already clo- like closed. Like, like, fuck, man. Like, you really couldn't find anything. I mean, obviously, it's what she has, because she probably gives everyone's haircuts and shaves their nuts for them. So, I guess that's all she had. <laughs> you know, but... I'm here for the two o'clock nut shaving van. Can we? Yeah, I, I like how it immediately goes to nut shaving too. Well, it is a barber shop. It does say yeah, there's a barber right shop. Yeah. yeah, that's where that's where all that shit was. What about Lydia trying to escape with the baby? Like, where the fuck were you gonna go? I think she. Well, she would have ran into probably the same fucking locked door that fucking Vale ran into. But my thing was obviously she felt like um, you know we even we even I'm sure assume. Uh, during the live reaction when she was passing the baby off to Lydia, that that was like, in so many words, Vale saying, like, I'm going to try to take this. Yeah, we were out. like, she yeah. was like, protect my baby, take care of my baby. Like, what? I think oh, that really is going to kill herself. Yeah, let me take off. Let me try to get the fuck away, because oh. if she does go ahead and kill Quinn, the first thing they're going to do is come after me and the baby and probably kill us both. So yeah, true. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I like how they deliver the you know news oh sonny's been spotted with a widow and they don't stop her from going up there and telling them no it's just like oh he needs to know now what okay go <laughs> she was trying to escape i know that's yeah. fine oh wait there's bigger problems there's bigger news forget but, about me but can yeah. we also can we also they showed a shot they showed a shot of the paper and it's this long ass it's not like a little note. It's like this huge ass telegram. Like, where did you first of all? Where did you get a full size sheet of paper telegram with like a thousand words on it? It's like six <laughs> paragraphs. Like, who is writing this thing? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? And, it, and and I'll have to go back and edit it when we're when we're editing and in the edit, and I'll look and see what it actually said. It, I got to see what it said. I know it's so it names. Sunny saw with widow. Stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Three million times. Oh my god! And then she goes up there when, excuse me, I have to yell. Holy crap! They're Whew. trying to get that groove on. Yeah, she's yeah. like, and she interrupts and like, I don't like that was a little too convenient for me. Yeah. Where they she shows up and she's like, no, no, stop uh, the fucking, yeah. stop I'm trying to bang hold the this presses, woman. hold the hold the banging for a moment. It's like a Seattle. I'm like, I like how Quinn didn't notice. She had the knife when he pulled away. Oh, my God, yeah. And then, wait, and she has it over the back of her head, and it drops. I'm like, yo, that's going to make a fucking clankety-clank. Yeah. And it was just like, <laughs> pop, 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 like, <laughs> blink. Oh, my God. Yeah. So they just did, like, look, man, they rushed. This. They was just like, They yeah, we, cheesed out on it. Yeah, we got to get this episode done, guys. Can we just do this shit? This is, but, however, the scene redeems itself at the end when um, she's sitting on the bed, Vale, and she finds out that Sonny's alive. And he's like, she's like, Sonny's alive. And he's like, Sonny's alive. So, hey, baby, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get my groove on uh, uh, Vail. Uh, come on, come back. Uh, 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 Vail, Sonny's alive. Uh-huh. Dude, how creepy was he at dinner? He's like touching all their faces. He's like, oh, ah, yeah, eat his uh, fucking bread ass meat. Yeah. His fucking, yeah, Jesse was like, no wonder why you got a fucking tumor, you moron. You're eating fucking basically. Fucking rat. It's fucking... no steakas, it's ratas. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gross, man. Remember Demolition Man? Yeah. 
I will see cows around, buddy. It's a rat <laughs> burger. Yeah. I I do. I will say that during the wedding scene, I do like how they're both like they're both like shaking, like right right before he's like, "Let's go bang, baby," and they're both like, <laughs> even Lydia, they're like, uh, uh, like they're right. battered women, and like, yeah, like fuck, wow. man. Something that you bring up every time. They're all so sweaty, with the exception of Tilda. Yeah, none of no, none of the fucking the the butterflies were sweaty, and Tilda's like nice and clean and fresh. And there's Val holding her baby, just sweating her three chest, gallons. her fucking face. Everyone is just like they always put. I, I know. I don't know about yeah. you, but like it's when I if it's hot out and you walk out, I'm I'm sweating. I'm just like pouring fucking buckets of sweat, like. Oh, well, there's degree. There's degree for women. Uh, the 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 widow has the degree for fine, women. Fine, Mike. This yeah. summer, I'll try degree for women. All right. Is that if that's what you're at? If you tell me to do, fine. I'll try it. And uh, but yeah, that, that's and neither here nor there. A stinky sweat box. Ew, gross. Well, <laughs> oh god, they all smell so bad. They all they just smell want, like the Walking so Dead, and oh my god. I always imagine the Walking Dead like that oh. has to be the worst smell ever. It's like, hey, Rick, oh, (laughs) shit, Rick, no, dude. They start every scene with a, You need to, the thing is, their sense of smell has been so dulled over time, so they don't notice it. We would notice it. I guess, I guess. We'd be like, oh, shit, we're in the walking. (laughs) (laughs) Like, he just throw up. puking all the time. (laughs) Puking all the time, puking all the time. Although they do have lavender baths, apparently. Oh, balls. It smells like Bigfoot's dick. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> which in turn smells like smoke sausage it's weird smoke know. sausages yeah. i don't know it smells like jack Link. Uh, um, jack's links guys i got a question for you we're gonna wrap this bitch up but i got a question for you all right um this is i've, I've obviously i've noticed this thing this season one of the things is pair ups they've been pairing people up right we had uh yeah. obviously uh beji and sunny you have mk and sunny mk and beji like uh the widow and um waldo widow tilda you know like everyone's like and then this last one was the widow and sunny yeah it's like they like to pair the, they like to pair off right so like um maybe it's not so much a question as it is a, a observation but what, i mean what do you guys think about that like do you guys think that they're doing that on purpose i, I personally i think they're doing it on purpose i think they're i, I, I think they did it on a... purpose to get you to say wilda that one time wilda wilda Oh Wilder yeah, remember I was gonna Dana say Wilda and Tilda. Yeah, Wilda and Tilda. Yeah, Widow, Wilda, and Tilda. There you go. <laughs> when they get... I just think it's just a segue for them to get to where the end point yeah. of where they need to be. I mean, but wait until you know, not for nothing, dude. You brought this up and and it sparked something. Now, now that Sunny and the Widow are technically okay for this moment, wait yeah. until Sunny finds out what the Widow did by giving Vale back. Um, yeah, I think Nathaniel when, Moon's sword's going to get a little bit more bloodshed on it. Yeah, so that's not going to be. I mean, that's not going to be uh, a uh, a pretty sight, I don't think. And even yeah. with the the Tilda uh, widow back and forth, like uh, the widow was like, "Oh, I, I I know exactly what you're going to say. You're upset that I gave you know that that veil is uh, with the Quinn and all this kind of nonsense." With the Quinn. Um, so I can see a rift between them. It's kind of built yeah. up before. We've seen and what she's going to and what she's going to do at MK, and what she wants to do at MK. Well, because you know Tilda obviously has a sweet spot for MK, and that was the reason why the widow and Tilda had beef in the first season in the first place. Right, and as, I I agree. I think that's gonna that's gonna be a. I think MK and the Vale thing is gonna be a sore spot. Uh, however, I I don't think Tilda's going anywhere just yet because there's no place for her to go. She's still got to fight Quinn and and not Quinn, but you know everyone else really. Um, you know, or, right. or are they going to what? So proposition here. What if the third season has nothing to do with the Barons and now it's just Sonny, Tilda, uh, Beji, and Wilda and a lot of them. Right. Yeah. All of their all of them against the Abbots. That's one thing for season three. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I mean, maybe I can, I, you least. know, this, that's that's a good question, because now just just for for shits and giggles, just say that. All right, the end of the season, whatever you want to say, beginning of next season, whatever you want to say. Um, say there's a case where Sonny does get Vale back and Henry and MK's along with them. What do, what do they do from here? Where do they go? You know what I mean? What was the whole the whole point of, 
uh, for you know for MK and for Sonny was to go to Azra or whatever it is. Yeah, so Azra. I can see. Well, that's I what they're going to look for. Then. That's how this season will end. You know, with with all the everything you think they'll that get we away? expect. I think they'll. I think they'll get away. I, I mean, I don't think that Vale's dying. I definitely think that Sonny and Vale will probably. I could even see the meeting up next episode. Probably. But I definitely see. Um, Maybe um, Quinn dying or Quinn getting killed. Maybe maybe Minerva is the only one left. You know. Do you think Who Quinn knows? needs to die? You think he needs to be done? It's yeah. gonna be tough because look at what what he did. And if Sonny and him see each other, how is Sonny not gonna kill him? You know. And Mike's gonna be sad because he can't do his accent. Or oh, no, hey, he can bring him back. Sonny, Sonny, what are you? What he, he do you bring him back? All I know is that Nathaniel Moon's. Uh, Sword has been getting fed on the regular man. That thing, I like. Um, I like to think that that thing draws its power from the blood of its enemies and of its foes. And so Sonny's been feeding it, you know, pretty regularly with the blood of his enemies. So, yeah, you know, yeah. by the time by the time Moon comes back and he and he and I think and I said it in one live. I think, I think he's gonna like he'll give him back the sword. Like he'll be like, here you go, man. I kept it warm for you. It's all good. Think so? I kept or, it warm I mean, with he's the not blood. gonna be happy that the fucking his hand is chopped off. Can I tell you? I just love. Off. I love that he has. I love that he has that sword. Like I love that he has his a specific sword, and it's like a unique sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I like that shit. It's oh. good. Uh, and anything else, guys? We wanna we're gonna wrap it up. Anything else though? That we can I think come we up need with? to wrap it up. I think we can wrap it up. Like uh, unfortunately, I didn't wrap it up when I was trying to bang Vale. Uh, <laughs> you know, these days we don't have condoms. What do they yeah. use? Rat intestines? We use sheepskin condoms. Oh, okay. <laughs> they don't even have sheep. <laughs> we saw sheep. We saw sheep in the opening scene. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Damn, son. I'm fucking, yeah. Hey, anyway. Man. Um, you got any hey man! Sheep All right, skin. guys. Well, look, that's Trojans, gonna man. that's gonna do it for this episode of uh, Into the Badlands discussion, season two, episode eight, the Sting of the Scorpion's Tail. I gotta wrap it up. Oh. Wrap that up. Well, Mike, wrap it up. Tell tell everybody where they can uh, get to us. Everybody can get to us on everybody. wrap it up. Wrap it up dot com. Wrap it up. Uh, sponsored com. by Sheepskin Condoms. Ratskin uh, Condoms. Check it. <laughs> check us out, of course, on YouTube. Uh, write your comments below. Any of these videos, we love reading and answering your comments, and just give us your ideas and theories as well. You can also check us out on iTunes. You can check us out on Instagram. Check out what we're posting on Instagram. We always try to put up when our videos are coming out. We like to put up some fun stuff on there. Uh, and don't forget Facebook. Uh, we're there as well. Third Person Pod. Check us out. Um, show us some love. Love it. Love it up. And uh, if you haven't already yep. watched the live reaction or the review for this episode of Into the Badlands, by all means, go ahead and go do that. Yeah. Yep. And uh, as always, comicblitz.com. Go down to their website. Yeah, get your little subscription there. And then at checkout, you put in third person pod, three months, three bucks, buck a month, unlimited comics. What more can you ask for? Get some comics. Yeah. Uh, and uh, lastly, uh, you might notice this thing I have on here called Retro Squat, retrosquat.com. It's another podcast I do with one of my buddies. It's like a fun little podcast where we take uh, all these like classic 80s cartoons movies video games tv shows and we randomly choose uh two and we try to mash them together uh it's pretty fun just go check it out you can get to us at on um, retro squat.com i almost forgot the words i was saying so if you wouldn't mind go ahead and check that. that's also on itunes and everything anywhere you get podcasts so go check that out you can um, check me out on uh, ramrod.com <laughs> I, I, I thought that was ramrod.org it's a non uh, it's a no, non-for-profit we, it, organization it used to be Oh, get it oh, right. you make right. carramrod.gov and oh. uh, dirty dirty sandcrab.com as well. <laughs> yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Shenanigans. One. Yeah, shenanigans.net. Uh, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we appreciate you and everything that you do for us, which is all the commenting and liking and all the Below me. <laughs> guys, we'll see you, you on the next We'll see you on the <laughs> next episode of Into the Badlands discussions. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Peace.